everybody. Welcome to Talk Utah. I'm Holly Love, joined with the very handsome Trip Mitchell. And it's good to hear your voice back. I, I know. You, almost. You... It still sounds like I may or may not have breathed in a campfire in the last few minutes. You know how when you leave the campfire, how it's like you have that, like, you need to cough up a lung a little? That's, that's still happening. What is it about a campfire that the wind, you know, you go outside and the wind blows from the west at five miles an hour. You go to a campfire and the wind always blows smoke on you. Straight to you. Well, they say it, smoke follows beauty. That's a thing. What happens in your case? Exactly that. <laughs> okay, you got it. No, but literally the wind always whips around and the smoke always... It's because you're so beautiful, Trip. You're so beautiful. I, I there you don't, go. Just I think it's more away. of a meteorological issue in that situation. It's but. meteorological. Logically, it's following you. The wind, just yes. ha the whole world just circles around that, which is Trip Mitchell. That would be the case, at least that's been my life experience <laughs> up to this point. And there have been a lot of campfires. Is there anything <sighs> better than a campfire on a beach? Uh, I don't think I've ever had a campfire on a beach. You've never actually. been to Lake Powell, Lake Mead? Mm -mm. You're kidding me. No, I, I did ballet trip and went to school and I, yeah, I didn't do all that kind of stuff. You have ne uh uh. Have you ever been camping on a beach? Well, no. I lived in Utah. What? Are you... I went camping every year. I've camped in a trailer. Uh, you have like never... Like a normal person. No, a normal person camps on the beach. You, you go out a and you A normal sled... person in Utah camps... No, you go to Lake Powell. Everyone, you grew I've up I've never in... been to Lake Powell. It's you... true. Because all those kind of sporting things where you go to Lake Powell and you like, you water ski or you snow ski. I, I signed contracts from the time I was like eight years old that I wouldn't do that stuff. Knees, joints, You signed ballet. a con... Wait, 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 wait. You signed a contract that you wouldn't have fun? N no, I just was too busy to have fun. And I was having fun. I love what I do. I was always fun. I, I loved it. But it was just I never got to do that. And then my mom, we didn't go down to Lake Powell. We didn't have like a houseboat or any of that. We did go camping every year, though, in a trailer. Did you have makeup? Did you have a mirror? Well, of course. We're, okay. we're women. <laughs> we, we, at one point, we had like, you know, a generator and, you know, camping. One time, camping. I was camping. Yes. And we were out by Lake Mojave, which is down between Arizona and Nevada. Mm -hmm. And I was out in bushes doing the nature thing. And I hear a gas leak. Is doing the nature thing. Yeah. AKA you're going to the bathroom. Yes. Okay. And I hear a gas leak, which is interesting because we're 80 miles from the nearest city. Then I go, what sounds like a gas leak? And I looked over gas and leak. there was a rattlesnake. Nice. Did I did it bite the, you right in the bum? No, it did not. But I did the standing long jump from the <laughs> somewhat <laughs> weird you position. Did you change all of your clothes later because there was a little bit extra? Was it like a laxative effect? It, I was moving too quick to notice. <laughs> I was, I was <laughs> what in What was the, left behind? I okay. just was... Switching gears entirely. Okay. I have some new terminologies. So here's the thing. I'm, I'm over pneumonia is the moral of the story of our last conversation, I think, somehow. And um, I've gotten back to the gym, and I've missed it. Oh, my gosh. And with the whole warm weather thing, I am so excited for spring and for getting in shape and camping on the beach. I've decided 2015 is going to be the year of fun in the sun. If you go down I've to... I've designated yay May. If you go down to Lake Powell okay. and you see red over in the corner with four generators two mirrors a uh, <laughs> a full makeup trailer with a paint spray you'll mm -hmm. see holly down there doing her photo shoot it, no but okay so here's the thing um some kids in my neighborhood some friends in my neighborhood they were telling me the latest thing for when you're when you're going back to the gym it's no longer cool to say to get buffed you don't we don't say that anymore that's not cool when you're going to get back to the gym you got to go to the gym and get swole that's that's what the kids are saying. That's what when, what Preston, who plays lacrosse at which high school? Let me make sure I say it right. I was gonna which cross? Presty. Presty's telling me how to be cool. I'm gonna go get swole at the gym. And we're gonna have yay May, swimsuits, camping, beaches. Are you in, Trip Mitchell? Are you in? Um, first of all, swole, and no one mm -hmm. says buff anymore. No guy would ever say buff. No, no normal guy would ever say buff. Oh. Never. Well, but Buff, now, but it, now you can say swole. I'm not going to say anything. I'm, I'm just... But we're going to get you in shape because here's the cool thing. I actually got to go to Salt Lake City Med Spa twice in the last little bit. I've got to visit with Dr. Brent Larson. We have a hormone segment that will be coming up shortly that you're not going to want to miss um, where we have you, uh, you know, getting to learn about how to get swole yourself with the help of some bioidentical hormones. That's coming up today. We have the awesome... 
Uh, Rich Bonaducci is going to be in the house talking movies. We're going to catch up with him since Sundance, talk Oscars. It's going to be a really great show. I have no idea what Trip will say. I mean, we could be talking from rattlesnakes to campfires to meteorology. But Who book knows? your trip down to Lake Powell. You'll be able to see Holly in a bathing suit with a makeup mirror. Should wow. be a lot of fun. We'll be back. Never said that. She had a lot of trouble in school. He had some impulsivity issues. He was having a lot of meltdowns, a lot of tantrums. I feel like all I did was yell at my kid all day. Brain balance is the answer for your kid because it didn't just mask the problems, it actually addressed the issue. We started seeing huge differences in her behavior. It's a totally different life. Endless pools are an incredible alternative to traditional pools, making it easy and inexpensive to swim at home. Call our toll-free number or visit our website for a free idea kit. Endless pools are simple to install, easy to maintain, and economical to run. Swim or exercise against a smooth current that adjusts to any speed or ability. Perfect for year-round health, fitness, and relaxation. Call our toll-free number or visit our website for your free Endless Pools idea kit. At Salt Lake City Med Spa, beauty goes way beyond skin deep. While Dr. Brent Larson is nationally sought after for his unique ability to combine precision and skill with artistry and the latest technology, including Old Therapy, the amazing non-surgical facelift with no downtime, and Cool Sculpting, the safe, easy, non-surgical way to eliminate those stubborn fat areas. He also specializes in diet, exercise, and hormone therapy. So if you're feeling tired, anxious, have weight problems, or you're on depression medication that just isn't working anymore, call for a free consultation with Dr. Larson and discover how fast bioidentical hormone therapy can re-energize your life, making depression and anxiety disappear in as quickly as a few days. Plus, mention this ad and receive 30% off any procedure. Salt Lake City Med Spa, where beauty goes beyond skin deep. And welcome back to Talk Utah, Trip Mitchell, along with Holly Love, and we've got news you can use. Now, the first story is an example of two bad things happening, road rage mm -hmm. and handguns. And oh, dear. It uh, was a story out of Las Vegas that has kind of been developing o over the last little bit. And basically what happened is a woman, mm -hmm. early 40s, with her daughter okay. out in a driving lessons. The woman is helping the kid learn how to drive run into another car, road rage ensues. Okay. The woman feels slighted. She drives home, drops off her daughter. Okay. Picks up her 22-year-old son with his gun to go after the first car. Okay. That's not road rage anymore. That's just crazy people. It was. That's and a because fight... if you have to actually get out of your car and you're still mad, that's, I mean, that's just... You know, you've had that moment, road rage is just like that moment when you're just like burst into a little, you know, a little bit angry for a second. But to get out of your car and go get your son and your gun and lose your daughter so she doesn't, that is, I mean, that's got to move into like a murder situation. But then you said something though, who ended up getting hurt from this though? She ended up getting killed. By who? By the other driver. So, so the other driver goes, got the gun from her. No, 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 no. So what happened is she basically went after the other driver. A gunfight ensued, and she was shot. Because the other driver had a gun. Yes. Oh my gosh. So this is a situation where road rage is so, so, just ridiculous. It is, and but we all suffer from it. But you know, so not you like that. That's no, no. I mean, that goes off the deep end. New... And the interesting part of that story is, it was initially reported that it was road rage, and she was the innocent victim. As we find out more information, mm -hmm. um, she was she's actually antagonizing. At, it, not or as sympathetic. At least back and, and forth. And somehow. there was a fun set up for you know. I mean, it, it it it's a messy situation, and I have been um, the victim of road ra rage where in my Volkswagen Passat <laughs> sedan. <laughs> Driving at... I don't know why. Keep going. I'm sorry. I'm just picturing you and your three little miles Volkswagen an hour, 10 I'm, and 2, you know, doing a solid 2 miles an hour in traffic. Got the NPR on, seatbelt. Okay, I got you, it. You have it all. I Seatbelt okay. properly, NPR, because mm -hmm. you can never get too smart. Never. And sometimes you might have to be smart for two 
can't think of any examples of that. You and anyone you're dating? <laughs> or doing a show with, whichever. Um, Keep going. So, so I'm in traffic, and I cut in front of a truck. I did it. And he just snapped. And he literally plowed. Did you know you were doing it? Was it one of those just like it, It's just, you know, how like, you're stuck. I got to get and, in. Yeah. You, you know, you're stuck, you and you're trying like to get. You like a jerk about no, it. No, I was cutting him really off. But you ticked him off. I clearly, because he smashed yeah. into me. I put my foot on the brake, and I and he pushed me down the road into another vehicle, Rav Four, uh-huh. Toyota, because it was expensive. Because everyone was stopped, so it was just yeah. basically like two tin cans like crunching together down the street. Yeah, and I finally got off to the oh side and pulled over and get, traded information with this guy, and I had to pay for it out of my pocket. And anyway, um, I tried to get the plate number, but I was shaking. I was physically terrified. Uh huh. And and what the truck do? Took off. And I never could find him. We had, I went to the state police. Were there more people around to witness what was happening? I, I don't think people were cognizant because it was a low speed road rage. Wow. But anyway, I guess the point from this story is try to de-escalate. I know I have, we all all had situations where you get mad, but uh, de-escalate and... Uh, well, this situation in Vegas is obviously uh, really rare. And in, in Utah, the drivers are so much friendlier. I remember the first time I did something dumb after I moved back here. Mm-hmm. You might argue that it was the first of many. <laughs> but, okay. you know, I didn't pull ahead at a green light. Uh-huh. And no, I, I, I'm at a red light, and the light turns green, and I'm Fiddling with Nobody MPR. Nobody at you? No one honked. People are so friendly. God, what a no. nice date. But anyway, oh, you, what's our next story? Know. Okay, well, our next story is it's more a little more on the uplifting note because we have um, a bill right now that is being passed through for uh, the spouses of those killed in the line of fire, our firemen, our policemen. Um, prior to now, they did not receive benefits beyond a month after losing a spouse in the line of duty. And so now they're working on a bill where they would get like six months worth of um, salary all in one lump sum to kind of help I'm with shocked the... that officers do not get an insurance policy, life, a big life insurance yeah. policy. I, I've worked for big companies before, and part of your package is you get a life insurance policy, mm-hmm. you know, for a couple hundred thousand dollars when you... Well, and I, I have no knowledge on, on their life insurance deal or how that plays out, but this is strictly for the families and to support them, keep them on health insurance up until they're either old enough to qualify for Medicare or they get remarried. And the kids all the way up to 26, which is just, I mean, when, when you've given your life in the name oh. of safety and, and a public servant like that, and if you it, lose it to that, your family getting that benefit, it's, I'm with you, it seems crazy it hasn't happened well, before now. Kudos to the state legislature and the governor once they get that passed and signed into law. Yeah. And then our final story, this guy is close oh, yeah. to my heart. Speaking of diets, we're talking about dieting and, and getting swole and, and in shape, and you've got a whole new diet you're bringing to the table. This is the Benny Hanna diet. <laughs> Benny. A guy from Utah had been to Benny Hanna over 300 times during the course of the year. He won an award. He gets to go to any Benny Hanna around the country. But he's eaten at the same restaurant over, well, the Benny Hanna chain. Right here in downtown Salt Lake City. Over yeah. 300 times this year. No, it was like, I wait, hold on. I think I wrote it uh 500, 579 times, people. And let's do the math. That's over 300. That's over 300. That's over more than once a day. Let's see. 365 goes into 570. Exactly. More, more than, than once, once a day. day. So, I mean, but here's the thing. What? He lost like 20 pounds at the end of the day. He's like Jared, the Subway guy. Benny Hanna restaurant. Benny Hanna. And, and they have a, 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 it's called a different style, and I forget what it is, and I'm, I'm feeling a little... Uh, Asian? No, it's, you know, where they do the food service at the, they cook at a hot plate in the middle. Mm -hmm. You've been to Benihana. Mm -hmm. I just like you describing it more than I want to help you, so keep going. And there is a term for it, and I I don't know it, because they have other restaurants, but but it's so cool. So you basically go in, you order your food, the chef makes it right in front of you, and then he flips shrimp into his hat, and, and then he cuts and... Is that a pretty apt description of it? Yeah, I mean, this is, this is fascinating. We're running out of time, and you're describing Benihana. And then the shrimp goes right in the hat. Well, speaking of something going right in the hat, actually the lovely Holly was out finding out information and sticking it into her brain. That really? happens. That, that was what was happening? Every day. We'll be back after this short break. Oh, help us. At Salt Lake City Med Spa, beauty goes way beyond skin deep. While Dr. Brent Larson is nationally sought after for his unique ability to combine precision and skill with artistry and the latest technology, including 
Old Therapy, the amazing non-surgical facelift with no downtime, and Cool Sculpting, the safe, easy, non-surgical way to eliminate those stubborn fat areas. He also specializes in diet, exercise, and hormone therapy. So if you're feeling tired, anxious, have weight problems, or you're on depression medication that just isn't working anymore, Call for a free consultation with Dr. Larson and discover how fast bioidentical hormone therapy can re-energize your life, making depression and anxiety disappear in as quickly as a few days. Plus, mention this ad and receive 30% off any procedure. Salt Lake City Med Spa, where beauty goes beyond skin deep. We did the psychiatrist and the psychologist and the neurologist and all the different ologists. Brain Balance was able to put their finger on it and say, this is exactly why she's struggling. If one hemisphere of the brain dominates the other, learning and behavior are affected. Brain Balance fixes this connection, resulting in life-changing improvement. At school, the teachers can't believe the change that has come about. This is not my kid anymore. This is this totally different kid. System Networks has been helping companies nationwide for a surprisingly low price. With a wide range of 24-7 technical support services and a staff of high-level network engineers, System Networks can eliminate all your company's time-wasting technical problems, allowing your team to be more efficient and able to focus on the work they do. System Networks has the most sophisticated and secure cloud services in the country and programs like Office 365. Plus, System Networks can customize data plans to meet the budgetary needs of any sized company. My name is Jeff Laramie. I'm the CEO of Beans and Brews Coffee House. I originally called uh, System Networks because we wanted to try outsourcing our IT. I would highly recommend System Networks because they've been a fantastic IT partner for us. They're super reliable, very knowledgeable, and they've just been a, a great overall consultant for us. Mention this ad and they'll put $1,500 toward a new server, cloud licensing, or firewalls. Let System Networks handle your technical needs so you can focus on what you do best. And welcome back to Talk Utah. Trip Mitchell along with Holly Love. And one of the fun parts of this show, which we really enjoy, is we get to meet some people and out in the community doing some great things. And in this case, Dr. Brent Larson got a chance to work with you, and it's yeah, been a well, life I mean, changer for you. Seriously, I mean, Dr. Larson kind of inadvertently came in and just, like, changed my whole world. You guys are friends. You live in the same neighborhood in Sugar right House. Right across from each other in Sugar House, yeah. And here I've been struggling with all kinds of crazy things. I knew I had some everything, something with thyroid, my sleep. I was having weight issues because of the thyroid. And Your hair anxiety. turned red. My hair turned red, apparently. And um, so you said, go see, go see Dr. Larson. He does all of this amazing stuff. And honestly, we figured out, yes, it was thyroid. It was my hormones. It was a combination of things that I was doing. And within a week and a half, I was a completely different human being. Your confidence level went through the roof. Well, and it, 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 you're, this is an example where a lot of times amazing people don't have the confidence they should, and you should. And by going on these bioidentical hormones, you all of a sudden, your confidence level went through the roof. So, I mean, pretty much I've become this woman on a mission uh, as far as telling people about this. And, and I realized that, you know, um, the information is really out there for women, but I'm going after the boys. Men... This one is for you. Take a look at this segment. You are going to learn all about how bioidentical hormones can actually change your life. And uh, also, Mr. Trip Mitchells. Take a look. Hey, everybody. I am here at Salt Lake City Med Spa with Dr. Brent Larson. Dr. Brent, thanks for being here today. Thank and you. some patients who we're going to get to in just a minute. We're going to have a very special roundtable discussion today about bioidentical hormones and men. Now, Dr. Larson, we were talking about how the last time I was here, it seems like with Oprah, Suzanne Summers, I mean, there's all of these people out there talking about bioidentical hormones and hormone therapy for women. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much out there. I mean, the yeah. information about what they're suffering with, people know about it pretty readily. Yeah. But for guys, I don't think you guys really know about it so much. And this is actually something you specialize in and mm -hmm. changes lives. So let's dive in and tell me a little bit about how you discovered the difference um, it makes in guys' lives with bioidentical hormones. Yeah, years ago, um, I started doing medical weight loss and uh, studying about hormones and testing uh, men's labs and trying to help them lose weight. And most of my clients with prediabetes, high insulin, type 2 diabetes um, had extremely low testosterone. 
these men, if they tried to lose weight, they would only lose muscle, they wouldn't lose fat, and uh, just benefited a lot from, from having testosterone. And then from there, where did you go into as far as specializing in it just across the board? Because you started realizing there's other symptoms as well, not just pre-diabetic, not just you know, men of a certain age. Yeah, so it's interesting. When you go and you study about weight loss to these medical weight loss conferences, they, they say very little about, about hormones. So I took it upon myself to go to other specific conferences that talked just about hormones and learned about the symptoms that uh, men have when they have low, low testosterone, um, like depression, um, they're irritable, um, their marriages are falling apart, um, they have joint pain, they have muscle pain, um, they have no drive, they don't want to get out and go do anything. Um, and started noticing that many men have these symptoms. Um, so I started testing my, my clients um, for testosterone and so, so many men have low testosterone and they do not know it. I mean, they become grouchy, uh, their wives wonder what is going on, mm -hmm. their husband just, just wants to stay home and doesn't ever want to go out anymore. Um, they start noticing increased belly fat, um, decreased muscle mass, very depressed. Um, they start on antidepressants. Um, Which don't work because the problem is not Absolutely. Depression, it's not in the mind, it's actually a problem in the body, it's hormone imbalance. We have, I've had no, numerous uh, clients who have been trying to have multiple antidepressants. <clears throat> None of them have ever worked. We try them on uh, a testosterone, they, we find out they have low testosterone, we treat them with low testosterone, they come back a month or two later and I'm just, I ask them, how's your depression, how are you feeling, is the medication still working for you, and they just tell me I don't take my antidepressant anymore. Wow. They, the, the depression is gone in someone who has low testosterone. Well, I've told all of my family that they're crazy not to come in here and get their test done because basically, I mean, it's a test. I feel like with depression medication, they kind of, it's a shot in the dark to see, well, let's see if this one works, let's see if this one works, where you can at least rule this out. I mean, it's a simple blood test and you can know one way or another if it is. Absolutely. You're gonna get on this and you're gonna feel amazing. So we have these two lovely gentlemen here today, um, Glade and Dolph. Dolph, I'm gonna start with you because I was so excited. I mean, seriously, I didn't plan on like shouting it from the rooftops and being this huge spokesperson for this, but I felt so much better. I mean, it was night and day. So tell me a little bit about your experience because you're young. Like, <laughs> hello, what's going on here? So I'm 25 and I ne never really crossed my mind. Um, I remember talking to Dr. Larson one day just about um, the you know hormones and how they change as we get older and I just, it, I kind of felt impressed to uh, kind of do a little bit more research about it. And I did, and I actually decided to go ahead and just get my levels checked. And surprisingly, they came back and they were extremely low. Um, so what were his levels? So yeah, so Dolph's levels came back at 450. An average level for, for men 15 years ago in their 50s was 550. So Dolph's level wow. was actually 100 points lo lower than men used to be in their 50s. And Dolph's 25. This is too low for a 25-year-old. And we year talked old. about how it's, you know, hormones in our food. I mean, it's it's an epidemic. It's it's everywhere. So yeah. anyway, so what happened when you actually? Got so when it? I got the pellets put in, it was a week about a week and a half later. It was day and night. Um, I had energy throughout the day. I before I wanted to take a nap. I, you know, two weeks later, I didn't even cross my mind to take a nap. I had the energy. I was getting five to seven hours of sleep every night, and that was sufficient and I was happy. I had no more mood swings, I wasn't depressed. So it really, it honestly, it changed everything that was going on in my life. And it was just something so small that Such a simple, simple yeah. thing where you're probably thinking depression medication exactly. or like sleeping stuff or I mean it's- Exactly. So it's so awesome that you knew him and knew how to find that out. Now Glade, you're kind of someone who is our version of being on it for a while because you've been using testosterone to help you. Tell me a little bit about your experience. Well, I was in land development and uh, when the economy uh, changed its course, um, my stress levels uh, just went through the roof and I, uh, I uh, almost immediately, I, I, I couldn't sleep. Um, I'd stay awake all night for almost two weeks before I decided I'd better do something. Um, and I, my energy was totally gone at five o'clock in, in the afternoon. And um, I decided I needed to start doing something, so I started working out, I got a personal trainer. And the personal trainer advised that I'd have my hormone levels checked, and I found out I was about the level of an 80-year-old man. 
Wow. Uh, evidently, stress has a significant impact on the body and can dis uh, destroy your ability to produce testosterone. And that happened very quickly with me. Uh, I went on the creams initially, and uh, within 45 days, I felt like a 25-year-old again. Everything wow. changed. Uh, I was back to normal, actually 10 times better than normal. And then later on, I went into the, uh, started using the pellets, um, and I noticed a significant uh, difference from the, from the creams to the pellets. I don't think I was optimized uh, on the creams where with the pellets I, I was able to put on significant muscle mass in the gym. Uh, it made a big difference. It was a much stronger way to have it happen for you. And as far as the pellets go, it's a super simple process. I mean, I, I did the pellets because obviously I was so low and I, it was stress for me as well. And I was like you, Dolph, thinking depression, like what in the world was going on? I had tons of doctors trying to figure it out. And then, of course, night and day difference, but it took like 10 minutes, didn't hurt at all. It's just right under the skin. Most of my uh, patients prefer using pellets. Uh, it's a nice steady release of, of the natural hormones that your body produces that go straight into the blood, which is the best way for this, this, the hormones to be, be delivered. I think that the symptoms, because you mentioned that with men, their testosterone drops really slowly over time. And with women, it's a lot more drastic, so they notice quicker, like, oh my gosh, something's wrong. That's right. But with guys, it can happen slowly, and they just think they might not even notice what's really happening. Yeah, so men, yeah, so women, they go through menopause and they know that uh, all their hormones are gone. There's just dramatic changes with women. Even when women lose their testosterone, it can happen over just a couple years. Men lose their testosterone about one to maybe 2% a year. It's a very gradual process. They do not understand why they're depressed. They do not understand why they're so irritable. They don't understand why they don't want to go to the gym. Why don't they don't want to get out and go do things with their wife? It's, they, they have absolutely no idea that it's, it's about testosterone. Um, what's interesting is uh, libido and sex drive in men is mainly controlled by estrogen. So these men might have tremendous libido, um, so they think, oh, there's nothing wrong with my testosterone, everything's good, um, and, and their wives are encouraging them to try and go and find out what's going on, why are you so sad, why are you so depressed, and men, most men think that everything's absolutely completely normal. Because mm, it's such a slow thing. Yep. Well, and as far as with what they're taking, because we were talking about how there's depression medications that they're on there going on, and then you said Viagra and Cialis. I mean, there's so many medications that are out there treating all of these symptoms that at the end of the day, when you treat testosterone, it actually, they go off all of that stuff. Yep. Yeah, so traditional medicine is just treating the symptoms of low test testosterone. We're treating uh, sexual dysfunction with Viagra and Cialis. In fact, the, the largest one-day sale ever in, ever in history of what a drug was the day that Viagra came out onto the market. That's what a huge mm -hmm. problem this is. And so sexual dysfunction treated with Viagra, Cialis, um, depression with antidepressants, um, fatigue with caffeine. Men are drinking these power drinks and, and all these other different stimulants to try and control these symptoms which is actually being caused by low testosterone. If, if a man with sexual dysfunction is treated with testosterone, 50% of men never need to use Viagra or Cialis ever again. It cures them of this. Yeah. <laughs> and they get all of the health benefits of, of testosterone. They get the muscle mass, the decreased inflammation in their body, um, prevention of, of, of Alzheimer's, increased bone density, they have decreased fat mass, increased muscle mass, decreased chance of diabetes, and no increased chance of prostate cancer, and absolutely no increased chance of heart disease. Um, there were some studies that have come out. Um, there's multiple studies that show that testosterone can actually decrease your chance of heart disease. There were a couple of studies that were questionable showing that, that testosterone might cause heart disease. And, um, and so a lot of lawyers and a lot, a lot of attorneys have, have have taken these studies, and I'm sure you've heard on the radio and on TV that if you had a heart attack while on testosterone, call this number. Mm -hmm. So there's been a lot of questions on whether or not testosterone safe. is safe mm -hmm. and whether it really does call, cause um, heart disease. Well, a great study just came out this past November of about 5,000 men. And you might wonder where this study was done. Maybe Europe, maybe Australia. Where was it done? 
It was actually done right here in Salt Lake City. The men here in this valley were the men in the study that actually showed a decreased chance of heart disease for men that are on testosterone. So it is absolutely safe and it's actually preventative and obviously helpful and... They feel great. Feel great. Their relationships are better. Um, and they get all the great health benefits of the testosterone. Well, that is, that is awesome. You guys, thank you so much for being here, for sharing your stories and talking to us because I feel like it's kind of an epidemic and it's something that sure is. is so easy that I feel like every guy out there and woman as well should be definitely getting themselves tested. But we're not leaving just yet, so stay here because coming up next, I'm going to have Mr. Trip Mitchell on. We have a very important segment coming up with him. You're not going to want to miss. We'll be right back. She had a lot of trouble in school. He had some impulsivity issues. He was having a lot of meltdowns, a lot of tantrums. I feel like all I did was yell at my kid all day. Brain balance is the answer for your kid because it didn't just mask the problems, it actually addressed the issue. We started seeing huge differences in her behavior. It's a totally different life. If you've been looking for alternative health care, imagine coming into a facility where you can meet with someone who specializes in your condition and then takes your exam findings and meets with a team of specialists to come up with a combined approach that will put you back on the path to health. At Integrated Wellness, they have everything from a medical doctor to an allergy specialist on staff. All combined, they can treat conditions ranging from rheumatoid arthritis to allergies, even chronic fatigue. Call Integrated Wellness for your consultation so you can be on the path to wellness today. Let System Networks handle your technical needs so you can focus on what you do best. With a wide range of 24-7 technical support services and a staff of high-level network engineers, System Networks can eliminate all your company's time-wasting technical problems, allowing your team to be more efficient, productive, and able to focus on the work they do. Mention this ad and they'll put $1,500 toward a new server, cloud licensing, or firewalls. System Networks, allowing you to do what you do best. Welcome back everybody to our special roundtable discussion here at Salt Lake City Med Spa with Dr. Brent Larson. Now this is a, a special segment of um, our little discussion here today and I appreciate you guys staying for this because you know we've, we've brought Trip in and it's, it's taken some effort to do and uh, since we have the doctor here Trip, I don't want you to be nervous. This is, this is a safe place. It is a place of love and, um, and light, and it's, you know, there's just, there's been some problems, and so we're, we're here for an intervention, a hormone imbalance intervention. Are you saying that my energy level is not what it needs to be? Are you saying trip, that trip, I nap is, through your meetings? This is a place where we're going to ask you to not talk and let us get through what we have to say. I've, I've written mine down, because... Brent... It, have you, do you any idea what's about to go on? Uh, yes, I do. Uh -huh. It's why the doctor is here. Okay, so um, irritable. Only around redheads? One of the symptoms. And you were on like super quiet lockdown. Like, what was that about? Is it? It's called thought. Is there anything some... worse than being behind a woman at a stoplight? Doesn't it drive you wicky wacky? You're behind someone in line. No, no, no. But a gift card shows you at least thought, oh, male, sports authority. <laughs> Female, Hancock, or whatever, craps. Wait, I'm, what? Look, I told you, a miracle. My voice is coming back. Um, it was... One could look at it that maybe not a miracle, but go ahead. <laughs> I mean, the amount of kittens that you have, everyone. I think you witnessed some of this today, right? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, the foggy brain thing. Um, I've been wanting to talking to you about mixing up your words a bit. You know, that happens. Um, we are... Terry Wood. You said Randall. I'm Do you even wrong. know who you hung out with? To talk to some amazing people. Let's talk. Look, let's talk. No, we're not going to look. Can we talk? No, we're not going to talk. Maybe uh, some summer school. Wasn't that the worst? Some By the way, did school? you ever have to go to summer school? <laughs> no. I didn't either. That way you're never late calling people back. And you. I, I wasn't late calling back. The addition of Talk Mitchell. Talk Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You always forget to turn the lights off and turn the heat down at the station before you leave. Um, you, uh, you lay down on the couch a lot. 
uh, which requires me to have to fix your hair before we shoot, which is a whole other problem. But, you know, for conference calls, you, you know, you need that middle nap. Rip, here's the thing. You started out the show today by pointing out that you, you acknowledged that you were old. Hey, your phone was going straight to voicemail at 8.15. Like, she knew that you went to bed before her little girl Gabby, who's like, what, four? You were, you were in bed asleep by like 8.15, Trip Mitchell. Gabby stays up late for a three and a half year old. Um, you that pretend is the like one, you're going, I'm guilty on that one, I will admit. You pretend like you're going home to take care of CNN and really you, you take a nap? Yes, okay. Um, sometimes your jokes don't make sense, foggy brain. And, and I know you're I know you're a comedian trip. I have a touch of the ADD. Yeah, I'm... No, 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 no. You don't even, you have less than a touch of ADD. Now, this one's a big one and it, and it hurts me, you know, to bring it up. Um, but you're flip-flopping on politics. I mean, you know, there was the episode where you talked about your love for Mitt Romney and uh, then you were really disappointed when he announced that he was not going to officially run for president. I mean, there were some tears. And, and that's when I really knew that there, there must be you, something Do you happening. think this all can be cured? I, I do. So now, Dr. Larson, I'll turn it over to you. You know, Tripp, you know, we're going to play hockey together. And I just, I'm just tired of, you know, just the joint pain and uh, the limping and the <laughs> Guilty inflammation. Guilty on that. Okay. And, uh, and just, uh, we, need, we need to get that muscle mass up. Now, I'll... I'll plead guilty to everything, but I guarantee you when I take this test, I will blow it off the charts. Hold on. And the only reason I nap when I'm talking is when I'm talking to Holly. And you know, the first 45 minutes to an hour of the conversation, Can I we... get four or five words in, and then that's why I have to lay down. Sweet. Irritable. Irritable. Irritability. Yeah, irri Do we all see it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. I... Now, is there... You know, Tripp, I don't, I don't know you very well, but um, you know, uh, <laughs> oh, man. Aaliyah, your, uh, you know, your uh, camera girl says that you're forgetful and always lose your keys. Um, you get grouchy in the afternoons until you go home and take a nap, and that you have no patience for phone calls from Glenn. So I think it. I think it's something you need to. If Jesus Christ to. came back from the dead, and was our savior one more time, he wouldn't talk to Glenn. In, in all defense, I mean seriously. Is there another list that's coming up? No, I don't have a list. <laughs> I thank you, sir. You Do you know, have any thoughts, though, from your observations of today? Well, I can definitely see a number of these things that you've talked about. So, Trip, Dr. Larson. So, Trip, we are doing the intervention. Okay. <laughs> can you take any redheads out of my life? <laughs> no. Um, That's not the problem. That is not the problem, Trip. What we want to do is we want to check your testosterone level. Take it. Take it with love. Okay, I am gonna go have a test done. Yes. And if I don't come out on the top 90% of men my age, <laughs> I will be shocked because okay. all these things that you've talked about, as you can tell, none of them are true. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm a personification of energy, vitality, level-headedness. Okay. So okay. If, if in fact, I'm for whatever reason low on testosterone, I will gladly take it and I will be a uh, objective participant and love to see what the difference is. And, and, you know, we've had fun with this today, but, you know, part of the process of getting old, we're both jocks, we're both going to play hockey, and when you're in your 50s playing hockey against 20-year-olds, mm -hmm. sometimes you notice that maybe they're a little faster. And Wait, this here's could where help. you don't have to feel bad, because even 20-year-olds have some testosterone stuff. It affects everybody, Trip. It does. Well, I am looking forward to getting the results of my test. I always score in the 90th percentile. Okay. <laughs> okay, so along with Tripp, we're going we're gonna to follow his journey through yep. this process to, to pretty much show how simple it is to go and get your blood work done, to, of course, when he gets his pellets, and then wait, wait, you know, wait, wait. we'll do a follow-up down the road of how much better all of our lives are because Doc, even just you, you guys have you ever had a testosterone sure reduction again. surgery? Is it, you probably find so much here that you'll probably have to come in and, and uh, take some out. I don't know why he's fighting it. I, you know, you might be, be the first. I think, okay. I think this could be. Maybe, maybe you'll be the first one we'll be treating a testosterone excess. Exactly. It probably will be the case. So, so anyway, well, this will be an interesting journey. Gentlemen, thank you for sitting on this, the first round table with a square table. It was a good round here. table. And honestly, thank you so much for being here because I think these are important things that guys don't usually talk about. And I'm hoping that all of you who have a guy that you love and know 
should send them in here to see Dr. Larson. And if you mention that you saw this on Talk Utah today, he'll give you a 30% discount on whatever procedure you need to have done, as well as a free consultation. So there's absolutely no reason, if you're struggling with any of these issues, to not get in here and talk to Dr. Larson about what's going on and at least rule that out. It's a simple blood test. And if you're at all worried about it and want to watch, stay tuned with us because we're going to be following Trip on his journey. You guys, thanks once again. Well, I think we're going to do this again. Absolutely. We should do this again. Let's do it. All right. Thank you for joining us. We'll be right back right after this. And welcome back to the show. Now, I just want to talk about the tremendous writing and efficiencies. And, you know, we're like Arrested Development. I play a character. I'm not really this goofy. <laughs> and it is so great that the crew has shot all this to make it look like I'm goofy because I yeah. can never be that goofy. I know. I know. It was really, once we dove in, you know, we it was really hard to find a lot of a lot of good stuff on you, but you know, we worked hard and found a lot of really good stuff Why to play with. Why do we keep my mistakes? Being, Why do we keep you, those? I, because they're on air. I mean, how do we get rid of them? Testosterone. In oh. all seriousness, okay, in all in all seriousness, Trip Mitchell, I've been worried about you. I've been worried about you and, and having such an awesome um, result from me doing this and realizing that what, guys it, have you, an even huger response to this than a women A huger do. response? Yes, and that is good English. I know those. that is a word. <laughs> I'm going to stick to it. A huger response because you have everyone Are you worried about Blade. me because I'm jogging everywhere? I move like a graceful, like no, a... No, but I'm just saying that it's not like saying because you're getting older or anything like that. Glade, it's 25 and, or well, actually Glade is our older gentleman over 50, but um, Dolph was 25, but... Your I, knees are bad. You have trouble with your ankles now. You refuse to stop, which, you know, makes you amazing. But you just keep plowing away at both skiing and hockey, and I'm worried about your joints. And this can help you with that. It's going to help you with all kinds of other pre preventative measures, help you build muscle. It's just going to, you're going to feel amazing, and I don't know why you're fighting it, so. You know, doing a show with Holly is very similar to be married someone who's a total pain in the budinsky, but you have in my best... In the best way. You have my best interest. So I'm going to take a test. We're going to see. Now, the maximum number is, what, 1,000? I have no idea what it is. I'm no probably clue. at 998. We already know that you're going to be low, and we know that we you're going to get the know pellets, this. and you are going to feel fantastic. <laughs> I mean, we don't know that. you should I could... be so excited right now. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Well, if it helps me in hockey and helps me in skiing, and it's I'm, going to. I'm very happy to do it. And, and then when it, it does, you can like pay for what? Did you want me to go camping on the beach or something? Uh, I, 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 I You'll wanna... pay for yay May since I got you there? If, if this works for me, we're going to Lake Powell on a houseboat. Oh, the whole crew? Everyone? Yes. On and, you? Uh, admittedly, however, half the boat will be you for your, you know. Of course. But regardless, let's just say that one more time. If this works, we're going to Lake Powell on me. How about that? We'll be back after this short break. Brent, I hope you heard that. We're going. <laughs> she had a lot of trouble in school. He had some impulsivity issues. He was having a lot of meltdowns, a lot of tantrums. I feel like all I did was yell at my kid all day. Brain balance is the answer for your kid because it didn't just mask the problems, it actually addressed the issue. We started seeing huge differences in her behavior. It's a totally different life. If you've been looking for alternative health care, imagine coming into a facility where you can meet with someone who specializes in your condition and then takes your exam findings and meets with a team of specialists to come up with a combined approach that will put you back on the path to health. At Integrated Wellness, they have everything from a medical doctor to an allergy specialist on staff. All combined, they can treat conditions ranging from rheumatoid arthritis to allergies, even chronic fatigue. Call Integrated Wellness for your consultation so you can be on the path to wellness today. All right, everybody, as promised, we have got Mr. Rich Bonaduce here. It's true. Rich, where have you been? Promise fulfilled. I've been busy. Where have you been? I, well, the last time I saw you, it was right before Sundance, mm -hmm. and you promised to come and hang out with me, and we would, like, powwow at Sundance, and we are going to do follow-ups. We did, like, ten <clears throat> shows at Sundance, and, and did I ever see Mr. Bonaduce? Nope. Because while you were doing 10 shows, I was doing 17 films. You were actually watching the films. I was actually doing, While I was doing, actually yes. just talking TV. Yes. So, okay, tell me what I missed. I mean, what was awesome? What actually won? And was there anything that, like, was really awesome that didn't win? 
Well, I, I, I can tell you, uh, okay, I didn't see everything, ob uh, obviously. I mean, you seven, saw a lot. 17 is good, but my mm -hmm. record's 33 or 36. Wow, I don't know. But I was working out, I, I mean, I was working full time and trying to fit everything in, so 17 is pretty good. It's but from what I saw, okay. I can tell you that there were some comedies that were really good. Obviously, you've probably heard about The Bronze. You read The Bronze? I got did. a lot of, yeah, got that a lot was of play. Like opening. Yeah. Opening night. Uh, and so did the overnight, which and they're so the and they're both very funny. funny. Yeah, they're both very funny. These okay. are good comedies. But okay. one that you want to check out that maybe got under the radar was called People, Places, Things, starring mm -hmm. Jermaine Clement. You know who Jermaine is? <gasps> yes, I interviewed Jermaine. I, I actually got a That's little right. I got a little starstruck when he came up because I'm he such a cool fly guy. to the Concords fan. That's right. I had like this moment of like and then I like had to pull it together. Like pull it together, home on your you know. Yeah, it's 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 a little film. It's a little slice of life film, but it's it's really good. It's very tender. It's sweet and it's funny. So if you're gonna if you're looking for a comedy from Sundance, that's one to check out. Okay. If you're going the opposite way, well, let's. But wait, did it get picked up? So it's gonna be released and we'll be able to see it? Or uh, I'm not sure if it got picked up, but I'll I'm I'm gonna bet money that it did. Okay. I mean, it's a lot of these. I got lucky this year. Mm -hmm. I mean, of the 17 or so that I saw, I really only thought maybe one was a bomb. Mm hmm. And a bomb. Kill that. And uh, and which a, one was a it? A couple which was were the bomb? okay. It's called Knock Knock. It's by Eli Roth. It stars Keanu Reeves. Oh, there you who go. Who proves he cannot act <laughs> in this movie? We saw Keanu it's, Reeves too. It's. Awful. I didn't interview him. We saw him like kind of stalkerazzi style. Go ahead, interview me. I'll be Keanu. Hey, Keanu, how was this movie? Hey. That's pretty much what you get, really. Oh. No, this no. Do not see knock knock. Do not do reward. You, can I just say never do Keanu impressions? Like, okay. don't quit your day job and start Whoa. that because that just. Didn't, Whoa. I think your Keanu is worse than Keanu. Well, acting. well, well. I, Does that make sense? No. Okay, let's get to the good ones. Okay, good drama. Uh, if we're gonna go for a drama, straight up drama like a thriller, there's one called Stockholm, Pennsylvania. Ooh. By uh, I read Nicole about this Beckwith. One. Mm -hmm. She actually wrote and directed it, and mm -hmm. she, it's really good. Is it? She's really good as a writer director. She's that already. That little girl is. Sasha Ronan. Yeah, she's cool. And Cynthia Nixon from Sex and the City is in uh -huh. it, and they are both riveting. It's a great thriller. Okay. Uh, so I would check that one out. In fact, I showed you my notes that I normally take during yes, movies. Yes, they're and a nightmare. This is what it looked like during Stockholm. Because you I were just, just was so, enthralled. I was so enthralled that rather than do that, which looks awful, mm -hmm. there was just no notes. Yeah. So okay. that's a good one. Now, if you're looking for something in between, like a drama D, mm -hmm. uh, 10,000 Saints. Okay. Uh, starring uh, Ethan Hawke. Yep, I and, and a few that. other folks. Yep. Uh, really good movie. Emil Hirsch uh, another, is in that. Yes, the another New York slice of life movie. City, like set in the '80s or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Um, yep. And another movie that deals with uh, extended families, non-traditional families. Like mm -hmm. there were a lot of themes in uh, in this in this Sundance. Uh, one of them was extended families are are real families. Yeah. Non-traditional families are just as good. Yeah. Another one is drugs are awesome. Yet another theme in Sundance. Everyone tries pot or something in these movies and they love it. Okay. And all straight guys are gay deep down. That's another theme I saw at Sundance. Okay. Well, yeah. I, all right. All right. So Apparently, there you go. Sundance wrapped up. No. Maybe uh, next one year more do you for think you. we'll get to hang out? Ever? Maybe. All right, I gotta see a movie. What do you got? What do you got? Uh, for documentaries. Oh, Docu yeah. Sundance for documentaries is just, a, it's like a gold mine of documentaries. Yeah. And there are a lot of really good ones. Prophets Pray. Was that good? It was It was very good. As well as uh, Being Evil, about Evil Knievel from back yep. in the 70s we, and 80s. We interviewed them. It was oh, yeah. really fun. It's Farrell a really... actually like got this interview. We got to go see the rocket. Okay. Oh, he went cool. like crazy. The, you mean the Snake River Canyon rocket? Yes. Okay. The one that successfully was built successfully anyway i messed it up really bad i would no it didn't. I, there's because there's theories out there and i brought it up and the and the guy was like the creator of the rocket it was his son and he's like on this quest to like avenge oh avenge saying that the, the rock it wasn't the rocket's fault yeah they pulled was, the parachute too early well, no it just that it it would have worked that it would have worked it wasn't if the evil hadn't yep. pulled the parachute too early well, I don't know that if was that's necessary. No, that was in the documentary as well. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's, it's a big right. deal because they did put a lot of money and effort into that rocket. Mm -hmm. And ha not even halfway across, the parachute pops. Yeah. And, you know, blew it. But that was a good one too. But my favorite was one called Best of Enemies, mm -hmm. which is about, uh, it, it's a political documentary for crying out loud. A really dry subject. 
it was about some of the first punditry, the first um, uh, talks at the Democratic and Republican National Conventions in the 60s oh. between Gore Vidal and William F. Buckley, wow. which sounds really dry, sounds right? Sounds super boring. It's incredibly interesting. It's funny <laughs> yeah. and it's touching. Okay. If Did anyone, you cry? No, I just mean it's 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 a very uh, heart relevant, heartwarming story, and it's very relevant to today still. Okay. But um, yeah, anyone that can pull that off about that kind of dry material, yeah, check out Best of Enemies. Even if it doesn't, even if these don't get picked up, mm -hmm. I bet you can find them on stuff Somewhere. like Vimeo, Video mm -hmm. on Demand, iTunes might have them. Those mm -hmm. kinds of things. Okay, really quick, just I know we have to wrap up a little bit, but what about the Nirvana one? Was that cool? Oh, the Kurt Cobain good? one. Uh, that was, it, it, it's good, but it's, it's really, it's made by a fan. Oh. Um, he was in there going, he was at the question and answer session. Mm -hmm. And it was interesting, but afterwards people were asking questions and he said something along the lines of, Kurt didn't kill himself. He died of a broken heart. It's Courtney Love's fault. And I'm going, I think he killed himself. Anyway. But I don't think it was a broken heart. I think it was. Some drugs. Anyway. No, no, it was a bullet okay, to wait. the brain. Before we part. go though, Oscars. Because, you know, Oscars are coming up. So Oscars. Have, yep. Yes. Birdman, I watched it. Awesome. I think Birdman will win. If it doesn't, so it might awesome. be Imitation Game. It better not be Whiplash. No, I think what's going to win is possibly what, uh, you know, my people, the Today Show, were, they were saying American Sniper. They don't know anything. Really? You no. don't think Americans? It's no. like the It's like the public favorite. No. Really? No. <laughs> Wait, what, Imitation Game? No, which one would make you mad? Whiplash? Uh, Whiplash. I think it's going to be Birdman or Imitation Game. It's, I want Birdman. Birdman, all the oh, way. There you go. I love that one. So do I. All right. So, um, are, will you uh, come back and talk to us? And yeah, we can. Yeah, absolutely. Let's, let's like talk yeah, about we're the time for this out. one. But we'll talk more. Yeah. But Sundance was really fun. I, you know, we're going to do it again next year. Next year we're going Sundance, bigger, harder, faster, stronger, more. It's going to be huge. Here's what I would like to do for Sundance. I will okay. take off work during that time so Please I can do. live up at Park City yes. and just attend everything. We're, we're going we're gonna to get a place. We'll That's talk about That's what we're going to do. So Sundance next year is going to be a lot of fun. We'll see what happens with the Oscars, and we'll talk to you again, like, you know, okay. about what else is coming out Let's soon. Let's do Rich Bonducci, always a pleasure. Hey, we'll be right back right after this. Endless pools are an incredible alternative to traditional pools, making it easy and inexpensive to swim at home. Call our toll-free number or visit our website for a free idea kit. Endless pools are simple to install, easy to maintain, and economical to run. Swim or exercise against a smooth current that adjusts to any speed or ability. Perfect for year-round health, fitness, and relaxation. Call our toll-free number or visit our website for your free Endless Pools idea kit. At Salt Lake City Med Spa, beauty goes way beyond skin deep. While Dr. Brent Larson is nationally sought after for his unique ability to combine precision and skill with artistry and the latest technology, including Old Therapy, the amazing non-surgical facelift with no downtime, and Cool Sculpting, the safe, easy, non-surgical way to eliminate those stubborn fat areas. He also specializes in diet, exercise, and hormone therapy. So if you're feeling tired, anxious, have weight problems, or you're on depression medication that just isn't working anymore, call for a free consultation with Dr. Larson and discover how fast bioidentical hormone therapy can re-energize your life, making depression and anxiety disappear in as quickly as a few days. Plus, mention this ad and receive 30% off any procedure. Salt Lake City Med Spa, where beauty goes beyond skin deep. She had a lot of trouble in school. He had some impulsivity issues. He was having a lot of meltdowns, a lot of tantrums. I feel like all I did was yell at my kid all day. Brain balance is the answer for your kid because it didn't just mask the problems, it actually addressed the issue. We started seeing huge differences in her behavior. It's a totally different life.
Welcome back everybody. Okay, so this has just been a really fantastic show, at least for me especially, and I know it's kind of at your expense with the whole hormone thing, but I am I am super excited for you for that. We've had Rich Bonaducci here. It is always fun when Rich is here, um, and we're looking forward to Sundance next year. We talked about you guys how it's going to be bigger, faster, stronger, better. You're already planning, and let me give you a rare compliment. Oh, well, let me get ready and like brace myself. Here we go. You and the whole team, of which we have an amazing team, did covered Sundance from end to end, some great exclusive interviews. It was so much fun. You guys did an amazing job. It was a blast. We had so much fun up there too. So, you know, next year, hopefully we can get you up there a little bit more and I won't get pneumonia so I can, you know, keep my voice because that's been I I enjoyed it and, you know, I... That was your favorite part. I, well, having you not talk may <laughs> opened up some more airtime for the rest <laughs> of us. Uh, Farrell and I enjoyed ourselves. You did. But I was expecting to be a curmudgeon up there, you know, with the parking and everything. It was so easy. We literally parked. A bus was there within two minutes you get off the bus the volunteers are wonderful Everyone's so nice so oh, yeah next year bigger stronger faster sundance is a is a heck of a, a um, just a something that makes utah amazing and for those of us who don't avail themselves to sundance please go up and just go down main street one day it's so much fun and and you run into you know you're not necessarily going to run into stars although holly did make it into people magazine.com we did make it into people feral and i but like not on purpose, not because it was Farrell and I. It was there was an actress there, Aaliyah Tipton, I think her name is. I'm sorry if I said her name wrong. I totally know who she is. She's adorable. She was like um, journaling her first Sundance experience, and we had these like amazing drag queens that we were interviewing. They were up there doing charity. They have a charity. You notice a lot of drag queens uh, wear red hair. Um, I don't notice that, but the fact that you keep track of drag queens and what they're wearing. Anywho, so we're going back to the drag saying, queens I'm up on Main Street, raising money for charity. And we're there, and of course it was just a spectacle. I mean, lights flashing, they were fantastic. And it really, Farrell is just laughing. I'm sure we can put the picture up. But anyway, so it was really fun. It was just a super good time. And uh, the hormones, we will check it out. And I have I'm so committed excited. that if, in fact, this helped, if I'm playing hockey better this summer. No, no, no. Okay, well, keep going. I'll let you finish. If hockey is better, if I feel better, if I'm moving How around How about if better. you can just, like, walk to the to the door, at, like, in a reasonable That's amount of time? That's setting the bar like, pretty low for a free to, like, trip to walk. Lake Powell. No, but you can't even move right now, yes, so... Yes, I can. I skied wonderfully yesterday. I was on the road to Provo all day up at Snowbird. Oh I was having a wonderful... Oh, right, Revisionist history here a little bit, but we're having a lot of fun. Hey, you did a great job. Again, up at Snowbird, the coverage was great. Snowbird? I mean, You're covering at, Snowbird. I covered uh, Sundance. Sundance. Excuse me. I ski at Snowbird. I work Rich at Snowbird. Rich is a blast. Salt Lake City Med Spa. We're going to get you taken care of. And I'm so excited to send a camera with you to go get all of your lab work done and to just, you know, get this taken care of once and for all and get that pellet in there, man. Well, we're not necessarily sure about that, but thanks so much for watching. Uh, if we give Holly a little joy and happiness at the thought of me being in pain, then that's what we're all here for. Oh, just for our entire production insane. crew and Holly Love, I'm Tripp Mitchell saying thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you next time right here on Talk Utah.